Hi everybody, Dr. Keith Barber here again. I want to go through the entire thoracic pump again for my students. Those of you that have taken the class, it's another refresher. Remember, there's three things that make you vulnerable to infection. One is the virulence of the bug. Two is the amount of exposure or dose. And three is the host immune system. That's what we're going to focus on. How do we keep the body healthy? How can we facilitate our own immune function? The most important aspect is flow of lymph. All the other things you know from other sources to stay healthy, please do the right thing. Remember also, there's three potential harms. One, aspiration, so nothing in the mouth. Two, a cracked rib or separation of the costal condyle cartilage, which is painful and can inhibit respirations. So, no pain while you're pressing, and three, the release is entirely from the elbows, it's a snap-off, there's no push-off. So, if you're not sure that you can pull without pushing, you practice on the table. Ideally, you would practice with a friend, and you would push on their hand like I did for you in class. And you push all the foam out of the table, or about 10 pounds of pressure, and you snap. So the normal writing reflexes are going to cause you to want to push so that you don't fall. But if you can't snap off without a push off, then don't do this on a live person. Practice so that you're certain you can pull. Before you even get to that stage, you can simply practice pulling in midair. It's snapping of the elbows. You also want to be positioned so that you can suddenly release this pressure without falling. Any tendency to fall is going to initiate a writing reflex, which is going to be a push-off, which is going to add extra pressure to the ribcage, after you've already added pressure. So practice on the table, start slow, learn to pull without pushing. A good solid base, one leg way behind you, lots of weight on the back leg, the front knee bent to lower your center of gravity, your hands on the chest. I like to put the palm on the manubrium so you have the <coughs> air hole Go below that, the manubrium, lay your knuckles down, your other palm on your knuckles over the sternum, follow the air out, resist inhalation, follow the air out, resist inhalation, shoulders back, during a deep inhalation, sudden release, in order to create negative pressure in the chest, in order to open the thoracic ducts and allow the lymph to flow back into circulation. The lymph has the information, the blood has the warriors, the white blood cells, the thymus gland. So let me demonstrate for you the entire thoracic pump on my lovely goddess wife Sherry. You may have met her before, seen her pictures. There's three elements that make for a good thoracic pump to get that good negative pressure. One is how much air can you follow out and resist upon inhalation. How fast can you come off when you're ready. And the timing with the most powerful part of inhalation, mid-inhalation. So again, heel of my hand on the manubrium. It lays right down onto the sternum. My other heel of my other hand on my knuckles. I follow the chest as it softens. As it tries to inhale and expand, I resist it. 
but as it softens with exhalation, I fall. And then a sudden release, snapping of the elbows. During that mid portion of inhalation, you may have heard that little rush of air coming in, indicating enough lowering of the pressure in the chest to open the thoracic ducts and pull that lymph back into circulation. The lymph has the information, your blood has the warriors, and needs to know what to fight. So keep that lip flowing. <laughs>